What's up everybody, this is Craig and this is day 24 of the 30 day video challenge. Today I want to talk about a topic that relates to yesterday's video. In day 23 I spoke about how perfectionism had held me back as a creator. In this video I want to talk about how to sharpen your skills as a creator. Seth Godin says that creativity is a choice, it's not a bolt of lightning from somewhere else. Recently, as I was browsing through social media, I saw a post from a well-seasoned content creator that said something to the effect that if you don't have something to say, or if you don't have specific expertise, you should not get into content creation. At first, I was a little bit taken back because I respected this specific creator, and I, I don't want to mention names because I can't find the post again, and I don't want to say something without having a source to back it up. Seeing this post kind of shocked me a little bit because this is something that more of what I would consider a gatekeeper would say. This is something that people would say prior to the internet. This just reminded me of times prior to the internet, a time when publishing and sharing your art was a lot more difficult. And so reading this post, really just got me thinking and it really got me frustrated and kind of worked up because I completely disagree with the words in this post. There is something to say that if you're going to claim to be an expert in something that you should know what you're talking about. If you're going to claim expertise and kind of put yourself out there that you're an expert in a certain topic, maybe it's cars or woodworking, maybe it's nursing or you know, whatever the topic is, if you're going to put yourself out there as an expert, you better know what you're talking about. But that is only one perspective, and that is only one type of creator. There are many different types of creators, and you can search, you can go to Google and search and find all the different types of creators. But there are creators that they create videos or articles or podcasts as they take their audience along with them learning about a topic. And they don't have to be an expert in that topic, they just have to be a guide. Many times creators will, will start a website or start a YouTube channel, and their whole goal is to learn and document what they learn as they go. And that's a completely valid approach as a creator. And so seeing this post really just took me back, it shocked me. I really thought that we are largely past this type of thinking. So today I came across a video by legendary producer Rick Rubin. He's worked with artists like Beastie Boys, Eminem, Metallica, LL Cool J, Kanye West, Slayer, Tom Petty, Johnny Cash, Dixie Chicks, Aerosmith, Adele, Danzig, Red Hot Chili Peppers, System of a Down, Jay-Z, Black Sabbath. That is just to name a few. Now, prior to coming across his video, I really didn't know a whole lot about Rick Rubin. I had heard his name and I knew kind of generally some basics about him, but I didn't know much. In this video, Rick says to create as much as you can. More specifically, he says to write and record as much as you can. Think of it as a hobby. I'm going to write and record songs. And then there'll come a time through that process where you look back and go, hmm, I think this batch is ready to share with people and it's not going to happen without doing the work. That was from the Lex Friedman podcast, number 275. I'll put, the, I'll put the link down in the description. Here's this brilliant, well-known producer, Rick Rubin, who is saying to create as much as you can. Specifically, when he's talking about music and musicians, he's saying to write and record as much as you can. I believe this applies to a lot of other things besides just making music. I believe you can apply this to making YouTube videos. I believe you can apply this to writing. I believe you can apply this to painting. But whatever you choose, whatever creative pursuit you choose, you could apply this to. I believe this is how you find yourself as an artist, as a writer, as a cinematographer. You find yourself by doing the work. You don't go to school and then graduate from school and just immediately you're a cinematographer. It takes doing the work. And the only way to do the work is to start somewhere. And usually where you start is you're not real great at it. You may have some natural talent in different areas, but where you start, 
you're probably pretty bad compared to where you find yourself later in your career. As I was going about my day, I was also remembering things from Seth Godin's book. It's The Practice, Shipping Creative Work. And in this book, he's talking about a practice, a creative practice. And he says, there is a practice available to each of us. The practice of embracing the process of creation in service of better. The practice is not the means to the output. The practice is the output. The practice is all we can control. Creativity is not an event. It is simply what we do, whether or not we are in the mood. So in this, kind of, in this chapter, Seth is talking about generosity as artists. And he's talking about this idea of the practice and our tendency to fixate on outcomes. As people, we tend to fixate on the outcomes, whether that is publishing a movie, publishing a book, or, or shipping an album. We tend to focus on that outcome when we need to focus on the practice. This just got me thinking when I heard that statement by a well-known creator that we should not get into content creation unless we have something to say or we have some expertise. I feel like that's a very limited old school way of looking at things, and I don't think it's true whatsoever. I think there are a lot of other avenues to pursue in content creation, and I think a lot of times the knowledge and experience is gained in the journey. And there is nothing wrong with bringing your audience along as you're learning and growing. In fact, a lot of people, a lot of your audience is going to gain so much more out of it if you bring them along for the ride. They, they want to know that they can relate to you, that you don't have it all figured out. And so I think there is a lot more avenues for content creation, and this particular view of this creator is just completely outdated. So I hope this is beneficial to you. We'll see you in the next video.